last time on Game Grumps. Whoa, oh, damn. Spread out in front of them were the remains of Monokuma. The smartest of us was working on his mechanics. I just found something. It's bomb-like, and it looks like a bomb. It's got a timer like a bomb would have, and it explodes like a bomb. Any ideas? <laughs> Are they really dead? Yeah, it's really hitting me hard the four or 15th time I've seen this. I had a bad feeling about that body, but I never imagined it would explode. And now the body. It's burned to a crisp. That's beyond well done, man. I would send that back. <laughs> Mukuro Ikusaba, you know, the thing that everyone's been trying to keep secret, but I'm just saying out loud now for no reason. Kishi stole was shaped like Monokuma. This isn't anything like that. Then this key is not the same key. <laughs> hey, I'm Grump. I'm not so Grump. And we're the Game Grumps. Hello, everyone. Welcome back to Game Grumps. Good day. Oh, God. What a pleasure mm. to see you. Yes. We are going to be, um, going into locked rooms, like the, yes. the B.O. Raw. We just got what appears to be like a skeleton cake. Yeah. The bio lab was definitely locked before. Okay, let's give it a shot. I went, when I went to insert the key I'd found in the garden into the keyhole that is not visible. The key w isn't even close to fitting, which means the key doesn't go to this room. Dang it. All right. Fuck! <laughs> we should go back and listen to what, uh, or, or read the line he said of the rooms to oh. check out. Um, data center, headmaster's room, dorm rooms on the second floor. Okay, cool. Where's the data center? I don't know. Oh, those check are all on map, baby. Floors, so I might as well just do this shit. Um, oh, what's this? The bio, all right, you already tried that. Okay. Gym, Hope's Peak, dormitory. Oh, the 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 little gate here. Oh. This gate is blocking access to a set of stairs that leads up to the second floor. Okay, let's give it a shot. When I went to insert the key, I found in the garden in the keyhole. Uh huh. No good. It won't Dang go it. in. Guess this isn't what the key goes to. All right, let's try the headmaster's room. <laughs> Map. <laughs> Headmaster. Second floor. Oh shit. Third floor. Fuck. Fourth floor. Is the ah, data center. There's the well. Data center's good. <laughs> the door to the data center was definitely locked before. Okay, let's give it a shot. That key looks pretty Tronish. Yeah. It could be a data center. Yeah, key. I think it probably is. I went to insert the key I found in the garden of the keyhole. Click. Click. And fence. Yeah. Then this is the key to the data center. I'd managed to unlock the data center. I guess all that running around paid off. I have to go tell everyone else. I immediately headed back to the garden and didn't go into the data center that I just unlocked. Yeah, jeez. So, you're back. What was the data center like? Tell me everything. Yeah. Uh -oh. How'd it go? <laughs> <laughs> I found out which room the key goes to. It's the data center down on the fourth floor. Then we can get into the data center now? Interesting. But why did the now deceased have that key on them? And why didn't the game designers just have the key say data center? <laughs> so you could just go right there and fucking not have to do this garbagey fetch quest nonsense. I suppose we'll just have to go to the data center and find out. Yeah, I think you're right. The data center? Why there? Here we are. <laughs> Looks like the door is still unlocked. Hey, so when you open that door, there's not going to be another huge kaboom like before. Like an earth-shattering kaboom? Uh, um... You're asking that question now? Before we open the door? <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry. Don't oh. worry. I don't know. We have Makoto. What? In other words... It's in your hands, meat shield. Again? <laughs> It means I trust you to absorb the blast. That's, yeah, that's an absolute lie. I'm just being used. All right. Oh, hey, Toko. All right. <laughs> cool. Let's go. I reached out and touched Faith, put my hand on the door. I closed my eyes and tried to clear my mind. With a silent prayer, I slowly opened the door. Dear God. Oh, sorry. Silent. Nothing happened. Aside from the door opening, <laughs> mm. after making sure I was still alive, I slowly opened my eyes. 
Oh, it's Ooh. Makuma. Ooh, look at this. In a word, the room was... Strange. Sexy? Uh, strange. <laughs> I mean, all the rooms up till now are strange, but this room had a special kind of strangeness. It wasn't a surface fear like the rest of the school here. The f uh, oh, here, the fear was lurking beneath the surface. The room was filled with that kind of dread. What? What? Hey, that's... Aaron? Yeah? Hey, that's... Oh, I didn't hear you say that. Hero extended <laughs> okay. a trembling hand and pointed. Look at all those monitors on the wall. They were hissing and <laughs> flicking out their tongues like the lizards they are. Look what they're <laughs> showing! <laughs> Alright, whatever. <laughs> Each monitor displayed a different section of the school. The dorms, the classrooms... Oh, a monitor lizard. I get it. Yeah. I get it. <laughs> Each okay. part of the Took school is covered. This is... What? It's the direct feed from every single surveillance camera. Cool. All the cameras in the school feed back into this room. And they're displayed here on these monitors. So that's it. So the sole purpose of this room is to watch us. You're a fucking genius, Byakuya. To watch us? That's what cameras do? <laughs> then this room is... Yes. To watch us. The, mas <laughs> the mastermind's private room, without a doubt. The mastermind's room. I guess that makes sense. So the mastermind was here. Watching us. <laughs> then I think this settles it. Why are there so many desks? <laughs> the body in the garden. If they had the key to this room, it can only mean one thing. That was the body of Mukuro Ikusaba, and she was the mastermind. Then the mastermind is dead? Like, really, really dead? <laughs> it would seem so. For serious? It would seem so. <laughs> it's too bad they had to go- It would seem so. <laughs> <laughs> too bad they had to go and die before a master could kill himself. The mastermind is dead? Could that really be true? It would true? seem so. <laughs> Shut up! Does this mean it's all <laughs> over? Because I mean that body... ...was so beautiful. Whatever happened, they obviously didn't die a natural death. So who was Are it? Are you sure? What is the cure? What is the holistic, natural, herbal cure for a knife to the stomach? <laughs> but if the mastermind really is dead... ...that means we can finally get out of this hellhole! We gotta hurry up and find the exit, come on! No, we have to check this area thoroughly first. Huh, but what about the exit? Listen, there are a ton of blue circles around here that you need to examine. If the mastermind truly is dead, we can leave whenever we decide to. But right now, it would seem so. <laughs> we need to find out why the mastermind set up this life or death game in the first place. And I'm bothered by the fact that the mastermind was obviously murdered. Murdered? Come on, hero. <laughs> so you think so too, huh? Naturally. See, I can be annoying like you. The state of the corpse makes it plain as day. There's absolutely no doubt. The mastermind was murdered. Why has it got to be that way? I mean, who could have even done it? Ignorant. That's exactly why I said we need to investigate the purpose and identity of the Mastermind. I'm telling you! Now do you understand, you useless insect, you're banned from talking to Master ever again! The mastermind's oh, purpose and why they were killed. Why couldn't you have just exploded up into the man-eating flower, no, Togo? This room may very well hold the answers to those questions. After all, the Mastermind must have spent who knows how much time in here. Okay then, let us begin our search. It is time to uncover the identity of the mastermind. Mukuro Ikusaba, I forgot. We should go now. <laughs> Let's get out of here. There's a really ridiculous number of monitors here. And the mastermind's been using them all to spy on us. As long as I have this. Huh? Look at Master Go, it's like a feast for the eyes. How much is a monthly membership? 
Uh. Boy, drooling and snotting at the same time is not an appealing look. <laughs> There's a bunch of computers all lined up. They look like high-performance PCs. Nothing like the ancient laptop alter ego was installed on. Hey, what the fuck? <laughs> They're all on, but they seem to be locked. So what, we can't do anything? Just use your fighting spirit to force your way in. What century are you from? The mastermind must have been using these to monitor the network and alter ego. You may well be right about that. But there's no point in thinking about it now. <laughs> everything you do is useless and everything I do is genius. You're right. Even when they're the same thing. <laughs> Security camera. No matter when, no matter where, surveillance cameras are, uh, never just, whatever. I mean, they're uh -huh. absolutely everywhere. <laughs> How many cameras does this place have anyway? I was trying to think of like- I guess that means whoever the mastermind is was expecting us to break in here eventually. Oh, interesting. Unless they were surveying themselves. I mean, I want to know why they were killed as much as the next guy, but I also really want to get out of here. Okay, well, what else we got? We got this uh, computer over here, this computy pooter. There's nothing showing up on this one. Huh? Hey, look, next to that TV. <gasps> a PS5! Isn't that a TV antenna? It is! It's just like the one my grandma uses. It's totally one of those high-def antennas. Wait, so if we hook up that antenna, we can watch TV? Huh? Did someone say TV? No. Well, well, Saturday morning, Hina's here. Uh, are you talking about me? Anyway, if we can watch TV, let's do it. Come on, come on, come on. Ah, uh, you're all starved for info from the outside world, huh? All right, let me work my magic, and you'll be in quantum leaping your, and you'll be quantum leaping your way to TV land before you know it. I mean, I get the reference, but what's he talking about? <laughs> Check the Monokuma picture. Oh yeah, that's the last thing. This door is kind of creepy. It's got a picture of Monokuma on it. What could be inside? Rattle, rattle. No luck. Um, door's locked, huh? What if you use that key that opens this room? Let's give it a try, just in case. Rattle, rattle. Nope, no good. Won't even fit in the keyhole. Oh. We're all gonna die! Yeah. <laughs> yeah, seriously. <laughs> well, don't worry about it. Everything's fine. The mastermind's dead, right? So nothing's gonna happen to us. Yeah, I guess you're right. Can't stop thinking about that door with Monokuma's picture on it. But worrying about so it isn't hot. gonna do me any good. He is right. Mastermind's gone, so there's nothing to be afraid of anymore. You know? Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> oh. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> What's wrong? <laughs> Good news for all you Saturday morning kitties out there. I think I got the TV working. Really? Hmm. Now all we gotta do is switch it on. Then do it. Freaking idiot, Mastermind. All you guys need to cut free from your regrets of the outside world. And they were sitting here watching TV the whole time. They really thought they could get away with it. Oh, man. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. That's not good. Huh? This is... It's the feed coming from the surveillance camera monitor in this room, isn't it? Heck? Huh? That's weird. Come on. Hey, what are you doing? Huh? It's really weird. Hmm. You're weird, weird in every way possible, not just weird, super weird. But this TV isn't hooked up to anything but the antenna. So how is it showing the camera feed? Well, did you try changing the channel? Uh, um. Oh, good idea. Let's give that a try. Hero went through each channel one by one. But on every channel, it was just us. It was a live feed of us standing there in the data center. What the heck? Is it broken or something? No, there must be some kind of trick to it. Some weird setup. My trick? What kind of trick? Oh, Actually. God. I'm not sure, but... Oh, zoinks! <laughs> huh? 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 What? 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 <laughs> it's been a while, you friggin' bastards. Monokuma? How? You're supposed to be dead! <laughs> Me dead? Don't be freaking stupid. 
Hey, you're acting kind of strange. Something seems different. Oh, does something? Of course I'm different. Evolution is perfectly natural. After all, I've been hibernating for two years already. Not even. It's been like half a day at most. How are you alive again? Oh, yeah, that's it. <laughs> the look on your faces right now is sublime. That's what I wanted to see. The moment you went from hope to despair. Don't tell me you pretended to be dead all for this moment. <laughs> Why would a bear pretend to be dead? You're the ones who should pretend to be dead when you see a bear. I mean, that's totally laughable. It makes me laugh. I'm going to laugh now. Ha ha ha. And that's that. Well, it's almost time to cut off your past. Uh, so full of hope and begin to despair at the future ahead of you. I want y'all to have m way more fun in this killing game. You can't be serious. We have to keep going. No, we were supposed to get out of here. Get, get out of here? Are you still obsessed with getting out of here? How do you not get it? There is no getting out of here. And besides, this life is not bad, you know. I mean, there's stuff you will not like about other life no matter where you are. Are you serious? This place is the worst. If it's the worst, does that mean you're in despair? <laughs> well, I'm pumped from all that laughing. I guess I'll just get to the point now. The, the point? You guys really struck gold when you found that TV. Yes, indeed. That TV is an essential part of your school life here. What? I knew it was hiding a secret of some kind. <laughs> But I connected the antenna, so why is it just so showing us the surveillance feed? Ho ho ho, look how attentive they are now. Well then, I'm gonna let you in on a blood gushing secret and tell you about it. That TV is absolutely without a doubt displaying the signal coming in on the antenna. But, but what does that mean? It's displaying the, the signal, it's just us standing here? Ugh, oh, you're so stupid. Don't you get it? Fine, I'll just tell you. This killing game is being broadcast live to the entire world! It's the most popular thing on TV! Whoa, really? What? This killing game is being broadcast live to the entire world! It's the most popular thing on TV! That's crazy, if that's real. Doesn't matter how many times he says it, I don't know what it's supposed to mean. I mean, even if I understood the words, I'm not sure I'd understand the deeper meaning. What? Broadcast live to the entire world? What kind of bad joke is this? It can't be. Have they taken over the airwaves somehow? The camera feed is being broadcast. No way, that's impossible. That kind of overconfidence is a major weakness in your crisis management system, you know that? All you need is one weird trick that I found and hijacking the airwaves is easy mode. Uh, are you being serious right now? Of course. I heard a kind of creaking, but the sound was coming from my own mind. Like a boat tossing in the ocean, my mind had begun to creak and groan. Everything has a meaning, you know. All those hints I gave you, all those tantalizing tidbits about the school's mysteries, even me luring you here right now. Why would I do any of that without a reason? It was all for my captive audience, to show them true despair like they'd never seen it before. I became the director of a despair-based production. This is what the ultimate dick. reality show. The best in despair entertainment. What are you saying? You're lying. This is on TV. The police and everyone else would be going crazy. The sponsors yeah, there's would no be way going nuts. <laughs> Pizza Hut. There's no way they wouldn't have tried to come and rescue us. Actually, what if they already did? Uh huh. Yes, indeed. But then again, it's not really any of their business, right? Sure, some people might yell at their TV to try and warn you, but who would actually come here to help? Don't you think that's possible? I don't really know personally, though. So whatever. This can't be. But to take control of all communications like that, you need an astronomical amount of resources. Yep. So how could things have come this far? Well, that's a secret. There's something you all need to do first, remember? What? Of course. Yeah, duh. There's a little business of... Ding dong ding, ding dong. Ding dong ding dong. Oh, not a bing bong. Oh, somebody's dead. Oh, because a body was discovered. Yeah. yeah. A body has been discovered after a certain amount of time, which you may- Yeah, yeah, yeah. Huh? Class trial, do you mean? <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's so many poo-hoos. I'll leave the next monochoma file right here. Everyone give it all you've got, okay? Okay. 
You're in for a heck of a ride. And I can't wait. <laughs> oh. Jeez, that's crazy. And then he was gone. Gone forever and blessed. His reality was incomprehensible. The truth hopelessly out of reach. All we were left with was despair. <laughs> despair of shoes. <laughs> oh! From Adidas. <laughs> We stood there for I don't know how long, frozen in place. I couldn't think. It took everything I had just to keep myself standing upright. I don't understand any of this. What's Despair Entertainment? And how is he still alive? I thought that finally, finally we could get out of here. And, and plus, what did he say about a class trial? Well, that part's obvious. The class trial is the class trial. What it means is that at this point, we have to figure out who the culprit is. No. Figure out who killed Kyoko? No! What, the heck? what are you talking about? I thought Makuru Ikusaba was the one who died. The victim was female, right? Kyoko certainly fulfills that condition. And if Monokuma is still alive and active, that means that the mastermind, Makuru Ikusaba, isn't dead. So naturally, that body can't belong to her. So it must be Kyoko. Oh my god. No! Way to fucking no! jump to conclusions, dude. Like, you don't know any yeah, of that. Yeah, I'm still- I'm still not sure. There is no other possibility. Uh, well, Byakuya's sure. What a- what a- <laughs> so stupid. Unless there is no... Uh, 16th student. Oh. And that was Kyoko all along. The body is- But then who stabbed her? Oh, I don't know. Kyoko's been murdered? No, it's not possible because because I don't know anything about her yet. I don't even know who she really is. And and she was, she looked at me and I was like, oh, uh, to have it end like this. <laughs> I don't believe it. I refuse to believe it. Whether you believe it or not doesn't matter. The truth is the truth. If you refuse to believe, it's your responsibility to uncover the truth for yourself. The truth is what I say. Myself. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, we'd better begin. But if we're gonna have a class trial, then that means the killer? That's right. Correct. It must be someone participating in our school life. Isn't the ding dong ding dong supposed to happen when more than one person finds a dead body? I don't remember. Wait, so you're saying one of us killed Kyoko? Well, that's not precisely what I'm saying, no. Huh? But you just said. Bleh. I don't have time to explain now. There's a veritable mountain of issues I need to confirm. So I'm going to begin my search. If you value your lives, you'll put everything you have into this. This is how the game, that is how the game, that is how this game works after all. <laughs> oh boy. Damn. Investigate. Well, I better start by checking out the Monokuma file. Invest the god. <laughs> Due to the explosion, the victim's identity is unknown. They were, however, dead before the blast. Then why didn't the fucking ding dong ding dong go off when we found the body? Yeah, they they break their own rules that they they literally use to solve the mysteries with. The the victim had been stabbed a single time with a knife, which went completely through the body. They had also been struck in the head with an object about as thick as a metal pipe. Oh, the body was covered in other Boy. wounds, but these were at least several days old. Murderers in this game really love to do just an extra little bonk on the head. <laughs> yeah, you gotta <laughs> kick them in the groin and bonk them on the head. So even the Monokuma file doesn't tell us who the victim actually was. The unidentified body, could it really be Kyoko? Or... I have no choice, I have to investigate. I have to uncover the truth for myself! No matter what, I have to find out what happened or we're all dead! I need to go back to the scene of the crime. Back to the garden. <laughs> hey, hey guys, I have to g Hey guys, I have to go back to the garden. <laughs> <laughs> okay, time to get started. I need to check anywhere that may be important from one end to the other. I just need to know what I always do. Or I just need to do what I always do, I guess. Now I can look at the knife. There's a knife laying on the ground. Is this... That knife? It must be the knife that was stuck in the body before it exploded on the day of the dam and the boom and the force of the explosion must have draw thrown it over here. The Monokuma file said the knife went all the way through the body from front to back. 
Does that mean this knife is what caused the fatal injury? Or was it the bonk on the head? Either way, this knife... It looks really familiar, but I can't yeah, place so when it. You were, you, you were supposed to be taking care of it yeah. to protect everyone. That's it! It's the knife that person was holding! But where did they get it? <laughs> oh my god. This is getting oh, no. really weird. Or maybe <laughs> it it's the least weird thing that's happened so far. <laughs> There's so, too many strange coincidences. What? That there was a knife and someone took it and then stabbed someone with it? How is that yeah, a coincidence pretty... and not just a series of events? Yeah, agreed. Whoever the person in the mask was that attacked me last night, they were holding that knife. And that same knife was used to stab that same masked attacker we found here. Or it could have not been the person who- had... God, they're so dumb! <laughs> so maybe this masked person got stabbed because... When they attacked, I was in a kind of trance. Maybe I reacted by grabbing the knife. And maybe then I, I... And if this really is Kyoko, it would mean Kyoko is the one that attacked me. But why the mask? Yeah, and why was she standing alive after the person in the mask attacked you? Yeah. <laughs> is he gonna like shout and say, It was me! I did it! And everyone's like, what? <laughs> I just don't know. I fu and and then you run away and simultaneously yell like he's making a break for it and then you tackle yourself. <laughs> you start beating himself up Fight Club style. I don't remember <laughs> anything clearly from last night. No, no, it can't be. There's no way. Knife. <laughs> Knife. <laughs> oh, what is this? These look like fragments of something. My broken heart. They're all burnt, Skull. so I can't be sure, but. I feel like I've seen something like it before. It looks like it's the sprinkler system. Where? Ooh. Wait, was it there? I'll have to double check that later. Or now. Yeah. Oh no, it isn't. Wait, what was it then? I don't know. Okay. If I check the body more thoroughly, maybe then I'll find out for sure if it's Kyoko or not. I'll look at the hand, I guess. Huh? There's something weird about the body's fingernails. Oh, these are fake nails. They're they're really long. They seem like they'd get in the way of normal activity. Nice. Fake nails, huh? It's also something on the back of her right hand. I felt like that was less significant than the fingernails. Yeah, seriously. Is this a tattoo? It got burned, so I can't make out the whole thing, but... Looks like it's a picture of a dog or something. Haha, <laughs> I like dogs. Woof woof. Hey, everybody. What were we doing again? <laughs> <laughs> Wait, did Kyoko wear gloves? She did, yeah. She had, like, yeah, goth okay. gloves on with, like, uh... Um, studs. Mm. The upper half of the body got set on fire in the explosion, so it's totally blackened. Also, the top half of the body the blackened. is wet. Oh, the blackened. Oh, right, I threw water on it. That makes sense. Man, I'm really not learning anything, am I? That's because it got set on fire and I threw water on it. Since I only threw water on the part that was on fire, the top half, the bottom half, is still dry. In other you know words, that water puts out fire now, so that's pretty impressive. <laughs> that's a new little, new little thing to learn. Oh, hold on, I lost my microphone. Yeah, I see. Can a you trouble over there? Oh man. <laughs> oh. Oh, come on now. Hello. <laughs> Hello. All right, we're good. Yeah. We're good. There's, Everything's okay. There's nothing strange about the top half being wet. There isn't, right? Surely there isn't. Exploded body analysis. <laughs> Sounds like a terrible indie band. <laughs> the white jacket. The we are exploded body analysis. One, two, three, four. <laughs> One, two, three, four. The white jacket the victim was wearing got totally burned up. There's only one little piece left. They weren't wearing it clearly, though. Lower half of the body mm. didn't get wet at all. After the body blew up, the top half got set on fire, so I dumped a bucket of water on it. Which explains why the bottom half isn't wet. There's nothing strange about that, right? I don't know, is there? Yeah. You're the Idiot. one who's the game. <laughs> yeah, step away from the dead body. Why not just look at the face? Like, <laughs> I feel like even if it was like a little burned, you'd get something from it. I- I think the idea is it's burnt beyond recognition. Oh. Like eye color? I don't know. 
Uh, who do I talk? Oh, I guess I can talk to the sprinkler system, right? <laughs> oh, the man-eating tiger. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> the monokuma flower, huh? Is it true? Does it really eat paper, plastic, and people? Anyway, I don't think it's related to the case. Okay. Yeah, and what bag do I want from the supermarket? Paper, plastic, or people? <laughs> Oh, I In probably. fact, what kind of supermarket is this? <laughs> oh, it's camera. No matter when, no matter where, blah blah blah, then you gotta pair. I'll go in here then, see if there's anything special about here. Take a look at the tool shed. Looks like nothing's been tampered with. Room is dusty and disorganized. In other words, a pretty stereotypical tool shed. <gasps> what? Is this a tarp? <laughs> Wait, was there a tarp in here before? I should probably look into that. It could be related to the case. <laughs> so, look at the tarp? <laughs> yeah. The top oh, sick. I inspected the tarp. The top is wet and covered with mud and grime. But the underside is totally clean and completely dry. On one side of the tarp, it's wet and dirty. Boy, it feels like... And I'm on the other side of the tarp, it's white and nerdy. <laughs> yeah. Something about that bothers me. Alright. That's the one thing okay, here that cool. concerns me. Well, and we'll continue the investigation next time on Game Grumps, yeah, baby. Yeah, we will. Holy crap. It's gonna be nice. This is exciting. It is, man. It's like, I don't really know even what... Yeah, I, I'm i completely at a loss with yeah. this one. Alright, see ya. Pacajo. Oh, God. Oh, my penis. Hooray! Let's do this, my Aaron. My penis. Bye. <laughs> Ha, <laughs>